Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some nice slivers. It's Friday, I believe this is Friday's video. Um, interesting hand. I think we can keep this. Double forest, two lords. Yeah, I'll keep this. It's a bit awkward with the blade back, but if we get one more land, we can lead the stampede at least. We're on the play, which... Not the best on the play move, but could be worse, I suppose. Evolving Wilds? Okay, that's good. We can get down our lords and not have to worry about anything. We don't know what they're playing, though. Uh, you know what? Let's do Gem High. Let's start getting our mana right. That actually seems reasonable. Hopefully it doesn't get killed off. Let's see what they're going up against. No black, 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 no black. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, okay. Green. I can handle green. Let's do it. Let's do it. What you got for me? You bogles? You mono green stompy? What do we have? Tranquil Cove. Oh. Playing three colors. Interesting. But can they do anything with that forest? Abundant growth. Okay, so this is bogles more than likely. Haven't seen Tranquil Go Grove play, uh, but actually it makes sense because they, they do have a couple plays like that. Okay, so I think we just go for Double Lord here. There we go. That's a good board. Give me some more information. You got eight cards in hand. Holy crap. <clears throat> Preordained. Okay, so you're not Bogles. You're three color control something. What are you? What is what is this deck, huh? What are we up against? Abundant growth. Preordained. Hmm. That's interesting. Some kind of new build with some Theros cards, maybe? Not doing anything else. Okay. Let's drop uh, some creatures. See what they want to do here. Okay. I could lead the Stampede. Swing in for six, but I think I'm just going to swing in for nine. Put the pressure on him. Yeah, all right. Not super mana efficient there, but we've got such a nice board already that I'm not super concerned. I mean, we have lethal. So he really needs to do some work. Ponder for what, though? Like, what's this? What is this? I'm so lost. What are you? <clears throat> He's got a nice uh, looking emblem and stuff, so I don't know what this guy does typically, but this is confusing the hell out of me a little bit. All right, yeah. So, playing with blue, so I suppose. Oops, I didn't want electricery. Uh, Pyroblast, easy put in here. Maybe cut a blade back. Didn't see any creatures, though, but, uh, you know, the abundant growth tells me, like, bogles, but everything else doesn't tell me bogles. I just don't know what we're up against, really. I think we're just going to bring in the Pyroblast and that's it. Just because they're playing blue. And we'll just run it back with what we have. Let's just get a strong opening hand and see what happens. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, uh, don't know what this one is, man. Really not sure. It's a bit weird. What do you guys think of the Naya Slivers so far? We're 16 and 4. We've played 20 games and we've got a really good record. Beating some pretty good decks. Still making some mistakes. Losing a couple here and there. Of course, we still lost against Tron. Like we did last week. But it was a good matchup and it was a good Tron. It was, it was proper Tron. 
That's what I'm just going to call the fair versions of Tron. Pop, uh, what did I even say? <laughs> the fair Tron. <laughs> proper, proper Tron. Popper, proper Tron. That's what it is now. I'm loving this deck. I think it's great. Uh, I want to start building it in paper. Uh, I need to get all my red slivers. I think I have blade back somewhere. Pulled some in Modern Horizons. I need striking and I need my sideboard. And I have lead the stampedes. I have winding way. What else do I need? Gem hides. Ah, I need to pull, get some gem hides. And sideboard can get a little pricey. Hopefully this guy isn't just running the clock on us here. That'd be a waste of my time. It'd be unfortunate. All right, cool. We're in it. We're in it. Just thinking, what are we going to do against Slivers? He didn't show me a lot. He didn't show me enough. That's for dang sure. Um, I can keep this. I can keep this. It's a bit awkward because I have two red cards. We need to just... If we can pull into a forest... I'd be a happy camper, because then we can do this. Oh, oh, beautiful. Mwah. Mwah. It's so great. All right. So do we Ash Barons and then play our Plated and Striking? Hmm. They're getting their mana right. We're getting our mana right. Can we afford the turn, or do we want to be attacking in now let's see we play our plated next turn we play muscle turn after that we're stuck yeah i think i think i'm just gonna pass hold up ash barons and we'll grab ourselves a mountain just to get our mana right for a turn we got one mountain in the deck so i think it's pretty important to do this but now they got double blue which is a bit concerning as well so they're holding up counter magic Alright, we'll grab our mountain. Let's go plated, see if they want to counter it. They're going to let it resolve. Hmm. Well, let's go for the striking. Let's see if they actually play with the counter spells. Get some more information on this deck. Okay, they let it resolve. How intriguing. So, are you going to do something on my turn? Ash Barons, alright. They're still getting their mana right too, I guess. Grab Forest. What are you going to grab? Hopefully we don't smoke them too fast because I like I really want to know what this deck is. <laughs> they have Ash Barons and Evolving Wild, so their mana is very touchy. Very touchy mana. It's gotta be perfect. What do they get with that? They got the four oh they got a planes? Okay. But they're playing the forest. Gonna play the Lord. We got Pyroblast if they want to try to counter. We will fight. Boom. Pyroblast. What's good? What's good? That's what Pyroblast is for. Finally, Pyroblast. See, it's some decent sideboard play. I like it. I like it a lot. We got a Sidewinder and a Viverlint to drop next turn. I don't think we'll lead the Stampede yet. Because now they're getting desperate. If it gets close to the end of the game, I'm going to message this guy and just ask him what, this, what he calls this deck. If it's just like three color control or something, I'm really lost this abundant growth is just throwing me off we're gonna go sidewinder first then drop the viverlint because i'd rather have them counter a sidewinder if they're gonna counter it Ooh. Mm. Mm. 
Well, I think we'll go virulent first now. See if they do want to counter anything. Do you have some kind of counter? Please tell me you do. That's fine. Guess what's coming down now? Sinew. Alright, I'm going to message him now before he leaves. <laughs> Yeah, he said, I kept it hidden in game one. I know you did, man. <laughs> ah, okay. Cool. Alright, well, at least he's talking. Yeah, he said he's showcasing crappy hands, so Bant ephemerates. At least he's a, a nice guy chatting in the in the chat and everything. That's always nice when you get a, a player doing that. See if he says anything else, but I mean, the, the game's pretty much a wrap. I, d I don't see how he can come back from this, which is why I wanted to grab him before he left. Gained one life. So Bant Ephemerate. So what are they playing with? Like Dignitary? So he's gonna gain three life. So he'll gain a he'll gain a bunch. He'll get out of get out of range here. Yep. Yeah, it goes to 14. Right out of range. Very nice. But I am going to lead the stampede. Just in case this game does continue further, but uh, pretty sure it's a, a wrap here. It's kind of a really bad lead the stampede. Holy cow. But we'll add to the board. We'll swing in. We'll get him down to lethal range again. He'll get one more turn. So, Bant Ephemerate. Not being able to go off. Just kind of dirtling around a little bit, which is unfortunate. Let's see if they've got any last minute plays here. Drawing a card, they're, they're hanging in. I mean, kudos to them, playing it out, you know. They obviously think they have uh, some answers, which they did with Weather the Storm last turn. But they said the GG, and they conceded, so they couldn't do anything else. We were doing a winding way into... All these nice creatures right here, so cool. All right, well, it's too bad we didn't really get to see their deck do much, uh, but it was confusing as hell to try to figure out what it was, so <laughs> let me know in the comments if you figured out what the deck was before we got him talking and telling us what it was. If you did, leave a comment below. Let me know that you figured it out. If you've played the deck before or seen it, uh, let me know. And leave a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe. Don't miss any more Nia Slivers coming up next week. Hopefully you enjoyed this week's videos, and we will see you guys in the next one.